Hey, I'm back. This is Chandler from Melda Production, and recently someone messaged me and they asked me how I can use the uh, modal filter to create like uh, horror sounds or inharmonic like metal sounds, uh, kind of like a creepy pad or something. So today I'll show you how. In a previous video, I showed you one way to do it, but I went over it briefly, so I want to get a little bit more in depth in it uh, this time, but I'm going to try to do it quickly. So let's get started. So first, let's look at the global envelope. This is just a normal global envelope. I'll turn the release up a little bit just because it's going to be like almost like a pad sound. So now let's go into the generator and we're going to need some noise. So I'll leave it on white noise. I'm just going to turn it to mono like this. Okay. Next thing we're going to need is the modal filter. Just bring that out. And here it only has three harmonics on. So I'm going to use this preset I made called all harmonics. And this just has all 32 harmonics. They're all on. It's a good starting place. So now if I play, it sounds like this. Way too loud. Okay. So you get the idea. That's what it sounds like. Uh, don't need it quite that loud, but that's okay. And uh, from here, you're like, okay, that sounds harsh, but it's a little bit too much. So what I'm going to do is increase the order to three. And what this is going to do is it's actually going to make it less uh, harsh on the top, not as grainy. So it's going to sound like this. Okay. So. If you think that's not good, what you can do, you don't like that meow, meow. Turning up the distribution will get rid of that a bit at least. So here it is with the distribution up, down. So you can choose whichever one you want. And still, I think the top end's not so good. And the reason that is, is because all the harmonics have the same uh, amplitude. So if you look in here, structure one, you see, ah, they're all the same amplitude. So uh, more natural sound would have them at different amplitudes. So this is like a, a saw wave. So if you listen to this, that sounds more natural. But uh, we don't actually want this sound because you're thinking like, okay, I'm not trying to make a saw wave. I want something a little bit more harsh. And we actually could take this and make it harsher by just going here and randomly hitting some of these uh, detunes, just detuning this however we want, like this, uh, like that. Now that's getting as close to the metallic sound we want, but there's actually an easier and better way to do this. So if around your house you just have like some pots and pans or some wood or something like that, you can make your own sounds by just going into Analyze Sample, loading the file in, whatever you record, and then you should get some inharmonic stuff. But we already have some, so if you don't have that, just look here in Foley and Textures and just choose something. So let's try Buzz here and hear what this sounds like. So that could be a good one. Uh, try another one, metal. I like that one a lot. Let's try a few more, wood. Bell. Eh, doesn't have enough. Plastic. Anvil. So let's try metal. So that's a good one. So we can take that. And so from there, like, okay, that that's our metal sound, but let's do something a little bit more interesting. Let's try B here and use this structure and let's take another one of those and let's say like um, anvil maybe or plastic and let's see what this sounds like and we can actually morph between these So 
already see we can warp between that, but you hear that and we don't want that. So let's make it so each time we hit it, it will just put our sound somewhere in between there. So it'll be random every time. So we can just use true random here, turn the depth up, and I'll just hit C and every time you'll hear it sounds a bit different. So that's cool, we're getting there. And you'll also notice that if you hit like a chord or something, even two notes are the same, like if I hit uh, C and then C an octave higher, because it's changing uh, each time, each note will be someplace different on this X axis, so it'll sound different. Okay, that's sounding good. Now let's take this noise here and let's widen it like that. Okay, let me up the release a little bit like that. Turn the gain down too, I don't want to blow your ears out. And now we can just add some effects or something here. So, let's just add this, and here it sounds. Actually, take this out, add some modulation too. Here we go. So for me, that's just an easy way to create some, you know, creepy atmosphere. And maybe in the future I'll make a device that does this just for creepy atmospheres. Because there's a lot you can do with this, especially with this randomization and the fact that you can use, uh, you know, any point in between here. So just getting some random sounds, you can get a virtually infinite amount of uh, timbres out of this. So if you like this, give me a thumbs up. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them down below and check out all the other plugins at MelterProduction.com. Till next time, see you.